A lot of rain was falling at the finish line of the first uphill finish of this Giro d'Italia. The stage would take the riders from Piacenza and into the Epinines up to the finish that was used for the last time five years ago and for the first time 50 years back when Fuente was the victor in 1971. This time 187 kilometers on the menu, three categorized climbs, plenty of other uncategorized climbs and hellish weather on the road. Took a long time for a break to be formed. 25 riders would get up the road and it looked clear that we were set for a fuga bidone, a big breakaway to take the stage and a new Maglia Rosa. Over the first categorized climb, it would be Gavazzi who would take the points. The rain would not stop all afternoon long and there'd be plenty of gusts of winds too. Three men broke away from the 25. They'd still be six minutes ahead of the peloton, led by the Maglia Rosa, who was already consigned to losing the race lead. He was working for Bernal and company, just as Tarame was going away with Jul Jensen. The latter tried to win the stage, the former, the Maglia Rosa. Onto the final climb of the day, it looked as though Tarame was going to do it until Alessandro De Marchi showed he had what it took. He'd attack alongside Joe Dombrowski, Dombrowski had spent years trying to win a stage at the Giro d'Italia, a former baby Giro winner on high mountains. The American from UAE Emirates was in fine fettle. He himself managed to distance De Marchi, a veteran Italian rider looking for the pink jersey for the first time. Back in the peloton, there wasn't much of it left. The lander attacked, Ciccone, Bernal, Carthy and Vlosov going with him. Inside the final kilometre, it looked as though Dombrowski had the stage win sealed. Staying upright and trying to go for every second for the Maglia Rosa. A first ever European victory for Joe Dombrowski. The biggest moment in his professional career. And behind a three-time Welta stage winner, De Marchi at his home Giro d'Italia would finally pull on the pink jersey. No lead in the GC for any of the big favourites yet, but a lead on others fighting for the pink jersey. A handful of seconds here and there exchanged between the favourites. Dabrowski winning the stage by 13 seconds from De Marchi Fiorelli with a great performance in third. Fervaka and Tratnik in the top five. 137 down to the first group, 148 to the next group. 11 seconds between some of the favourites and others with Joao Almeida losing a lot of time indeed. Nibali losing a little bit more time alongside Bukman, Pozzavivo and Sivakov. And losing the Maglia Rosa, although expected to do anyway, would be Filippo Ganna. Israel startup nation, leader Grand Tour, and Alessandro De Marchi is the man who makes history for them. He now leads by 22 seconds over Joe Dombrowski. Ferfaka's breakaway performance takes him to third. Oliveira and Walter in fourth and fifth, with Walter, the young Hungarian, now wearing the Maglia Bianca for the best young rider. Vlasov, the best of the big-name GC contenders. The rest having to pick up the pieces and wonder where they are going into the next flat stage. Plenty of time to pick up the pieces as we head from Modena to Catolica. 155 kilometers on the menu, all pan flat, nothing for the King of the Mountains competition. Two intermediate sprints though, and a chance for the sprinters to see how the legs are after a bruising day in filthy conditions. Yet more entertainment in Sestola. Five years after Ciccone, the race would belong to Dombrowski with another maiden win. And a brand new Maglia Rosa, Alessandro De Marchi.